Hi, in this tutorial, we will review the log collector feature of the Jasper Server product for version 7.5.0. This log collector feature is particularly useful for getting a log for a report or for an ad hoc view. You can set it for a user or for all users. It is also possible to get logs for multiple reports or views. You can do that by simply creating multiple log collectors. For this tutorial, we'll go through these questions. How to turn off encryption? How to create a log collector? Where is the log zip package? What is in the log zip package? In part two, we'll dive into more details on encryption, decryption, data snapshot, and verbosity. On Jasper Server version 7.5.0, the log collector files are encrypted by default. You can turn off encryption by changing the configuration setting. For this tutorial, we will turn it off to make it easier to learn. You can change the allow encryption property value from true to false in the following file. For versions 6.3 to 7.5, the file is application context security.xml. For versions 6.1 to 6.2, the file is application context dash export dash import dash web dot xml. After saving the file, now restart Jasper server to make the setting active. Let us take a look at the graphical user interface screen and check out the log collector options. In the repository, we will go to manage server settings log collectors and hit the create log collector button. Let us go through an actual example. This example shows the collector name of your choice. In this case, we have log collector test 001. The user ID, you can even add an organization name you want to monitor. If you leave it blank, it will monitor everyone using that report or view. Next, you can specify which report or view to monitor. For the next two values, we'll just select the include data snapshot checkbox and select medium as the verbosity level. We will dive into more details on data snapshot and verbosity in part two of the tutorial. After hitting save, you'll see the log collector in the list with a status of running. So the next question is, how do you get the log? There are two ways. A, manually, in order to get the logs, you will need to stop the collector first by clicking on the stop button pointed to by the red arrow. Then you can click on the download button as pointed to by the green arrow. The second way is to just simply take it from the folder web inf slash logs directory. Let us navigate to web inf slash logs uh, directory. As you can see here, there are two subfolders created for you. One is the archive folder to save all the log collectors that you will be creating. The spe specifically named folder contains the log package for the log collector we have created. In this case, log collector test 001. Let us open the subfolders and see what we have so far. The archive folder, as shown on top of the slide, shows that it contains the entire log package. The folder log collector test 01 contains three files, collector settings, diagnostic, and export. The collector settings file contains simply the values you entered for the log collector. For example, name, user ID, and so forth. The file diagnostic.log file contains the actual log entries monitored. Export is a zip file containing the actual report and the data snapshot dump. For the encrypted version, the output file names are slightly different. As you can see, JS encrypted has been added to the two file names to indicate that these files are encrypted. Now this is probably a good time to stop the introduction. In part two, we will dive into the details of encryption, decryption, data snapshot, and verbosity.